Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with Perl and PLM. In this snack bite, we're going to be looking at the 3D PDF inside of the new version NX 1847. You might have heard this referred to as model based definition. So let's go ahead here and take a quick look at what it looks like inside of uh, NX 1847 here. So with NX open, remember your model views. You can display different uh, annotations and dimensions in different views if you want to. You can also create your own views as I did here, an MBD view. Okay, so I have different pieces of information shown in my different model views here. So the PMI dimensions, the control frames, the dimensions are all shown uh, in different views. And then I have kind of like an isometric to kind of show all of those uh, different uh, annotations and dimensions to the guys in the shop here so they can see everything if they need to. So to create the 3D PDF, all we have to do is make sure the PMI application is on. You can do that by going to the file tab and making sure your PMI is on here. And then we can run the publishing technical data package here. So inside of the technical data package, I'll go ahead and expand this a little bit. Um, your settings might be expanded here. All we can do, all we have to do is hit the, uh, the reset button here and it'll reset it back. So as you can see, I have the defaults here. Now what we have to do is select a template uh, for our 3D PDF. So you can kind of see which template you're gonna have here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the part landscape template here. And then you can select the views that you want. You can also select all. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and manual see, manually select those. Okay, so I have my views selected in the, in the model views tab here. So from here, let's go ahead and place it in the right folder. Okay, so it's already there in my model base definition uh, folder that I created. Underneath settings, you can also password protect the file if you want to. You can also enter some text into the, uh, the title block. So notice we can put in a date here. So you'll see this in the, uh, the 3D PDF at the top right of my template. Okay, so you can enter uh, this text, you can enter vision. Uh, things like that. You can also attach different documents to it as well, such as like Word files or Excel files. So let's go ahead and uh, export this to a 3D PDF and see what happens here. So you can see in the bottom left here, it's publishing the 3D PDF. Okay, so it's published the 3D PDF. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead here and open it up. Okay, and as you can see here in the top right, you can see that we can input uh, that text here if we want to notice the designer name, we can type in the revision, uh, different things like that here as well. You can also type in comments here and then your different views. So you can scroll through the different views, uh, the ones that I selected. Notice some of these don't have PMI and then we can also rotate and things like that in here as well. Okay, so that is how we can generate uh, 3D PDFs inside of the new NX 1847 version. Thanks, and have a great day.